According to Fortune magazine, the number of businesses owned by African American women grew 322% since 1997, making black females the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the U.S. The Empower Grind and Grow Summit celebrated the achievements of local business owners of all races and held a series of workshops and other networking events for business-minded women to learn. Kelly takes us inside the conference. Talk to us a little bit about this summit and, and why you guys are having this. Um, the summit is for just to fill in the gap of the need for Indianapolis women um, to have that full empowerment and just um, help women find their visions and restore their goals and get back to that. And how did you guys get the start of this? Like, how was this created? Just somebody just had this idea, or, or how did this come about? Yes, um, actually, we we all were together and we just realized there, these are happening around the country, but yet they're not happening in, in that full force in Indianapolis. So we realize there's a need. We need it here in Indianapolis so we can all have that cohesive um, feeling together. And so we all came together and we said, okay, what can you bring to the table? What can you bring to the table? And we just did it together. It's always a, it's actually a group of empowered women because that's what you, because you are empowered when you're with other women and you're doing it together. So. Um, we did it together, and it was just a great feeling. Um, but Chisa is the mastermind behind it, uh, Miss Chisa Torrance, um, and I am just surprised. I knew it was going to be great, but I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, it, it went over and beyond our, all of our expectations. Um, I think the whole concept of empowering businesses and women is, you know, it's just something that we need. Um, women businesses are growing at a high rate, and I think the support of other women, you know, only can make it better for, you know, each of us. So I think it's a good thing to be, you know, involved with, with a great group of women. It's important for us as women because we are the leaders. We really are. We are the backbone to our men, but we really are the leaders. You know, they are the, in the front, but without us, they don't really make it too far. <laughs> so bad. But we are so strong, and this is just going to empower us and build us up more. So I'm really excited for Chisa and her staff to do this for us. And I'm just so glad to be a part of it. Tresene was one of the speakers, the workshop speakers here. Tell us a little bit about what your segment was about. So we talked a little bit about some of the brand reputation things, uh, branding protection things uh, for new entrepreneurs. So helping them understand that they got to protect their business, which would be like the king piece in the game of chess, and then how to protect their brand identity, which is more like the queen piece in a game of chess, and then how the two work together to really help win the game. For those at home, what would you recommend for them starting their brand? Um, I would recommend the first thing they should do is create an email list, create a, a group of people who are interested in one thing and provide that one thing on like a weekly basis. So I really want people to get serious about business. If you are in business, get it done, hustle, activate your hustle, dream, pray, hustle. If you're not, go back to your job and just and, and be, a, be a good employee, okay? My biggest hurdle is walking in faith because financially, um, the money was not always there. I mean, and, and some, sometimes today, you know, the money is not there to do and make that moves that I want to make. But, you know, in negotiating and just being a people person has really carried the weight for me. I think you just have to learn as much as possible all the time. I mean, you could do whatever you set your mind to, but I mean, one of the uh, spokesmen in there was talking about reading books and we're big on that, you know, both individually and at the store. Um, I mean, as much as you can, if you can set 15 to 30 minutes a, a day of reading, I mean, it's just, it's amazing what you can bring back and set yourself apart. So I think that's the biggest thing that's been very helpful with us. To keep up with other networking events Empower will host, visit them online at IndieEmpower.com.